Hello everyone, today I want to do a short lecture on how to borrow natural light. A modern home is not always built with natural light in mind. Plot confinement and orientation mean we frequently wind up with darker rooms. This not only leads to having to use artificial light in the day, yet it additionally influences the general environment of the house. The idea of borrowed light is to capture the light falling on the outside of a home and transporting it to the inside spaces where it's required. Today I'm gonna show you some of those solutions of capturing daylight. The wall shown here gathers into direct light from an adjacent light-filled room and exploits the reflective nature of the material surfaces to diffuse it into the neighboring room. Clear glass will transmit the best measure of light into nearby spaces and because the glass here is situated above eye level the rooms stay private and sound segregated. Full height glass walls don't offer visual privacy when there's constrained access to outside window space. The apparent measurements of our rooms are naturally expanded when we utilize the borrowed light concept. This means it works specially well for spaces with floor area requirements. Since translucent materials reflect, absorb and scatter light, they make extraordinary partitions for getting light and the level of translucency will influence exactly how much light is scattered. Electrochromatic glass, otherwise called smart glass or privacy glass it's perfect as it can be remote controlled to go dark at the touch of a button permitting the adaptability of visibility just when you need it another alternative and an effective vehicle for borrowing light in a house is the stairway it's a natural conductor for enlightening a light starved lower level in the event that the stair can be situated to catch and reflect light from above by either completely glazing it or utilizing a skylight it's even more effective and the mix of glass balustrade and white walls has made the stairway a very good light source. Skylights. Because the sky dome above is a giant light source, it's hard to find a more productive means for borrowing light here than the skylight on tight spaces and especially corridors to make them more lively and bright. This project utilizes the use of skylights and white walls. Light colored walls and furniture helps distribute the light further. Light not only is beneficial for our bodies but it's also very important for our way of thinking, how we get up, how we sleep, and how we spend our day. Light tubes. It's a simple technology that channel light to where it's needed using highly reflective, flexible tubing. And they're especially effective in private spaces or spaces where a lot of glass isn't desirable. The glass ceiling or floor. By nature, basements are terrible when it comes to natural light. There generally isn't much daylight underground, and many people will install a solar tube to get light into the space. A more extravagant way of borrowing light from above is to glaze sections of the ceiling with reinforced glass if the budget allows. If properly, it can look similar to an above ground window lit room courtyards. This not only has the benefit of preventing a large lightless interior space, can also blur the lines between outside and inside in the rooms that border the courtyard. A sunken courtyard into the basement can bring in light in an innovative way. They usually have trees or water features to further improve their environment. These spaces would have looked completely different without that courtyard. Clear story windows. Clear story windows are very similar to the first solution to borrowing light. Clear story windows are a row of windows well above eye level. They flood vast spaces with natural light, creating interior environments so open and bright they can feel heavenly. This project uses clear story window and the clever positioning of the interior spaces and walls to reflect the light from the outside to the depth of the plan. And this is all for today's video. All project links will be in the description bar if you want to take a closer look at all the projects and details. And don't forget to give this video a like and share because it really helps support the channel so I can create more videos like this one. I'm Rasha Shiruru and I will see you next time.